Just heading down Riverside Road, making our way out of Abbotsford towards the Metropolis of Mission, where we will head east on Highway 7 out to Shannon's Lake. We got Sam behind the wheel here. He's driving away. Cola. Hello, baby. Say hi. And then Oakley, our little Aussie doodle. I'm back there. How's the girl? Hi. Hi, yes. Tag, I'm it. Okay. So we are just over at the staging area here. Just about getting ready to jump on the Shehanas Forest Service Road and head up to the lake, so. It's a little bit washboardy road, but um, not bumpy and potholy at all. gonna check out this little uh, trail here I don't know where it's gonna go I don't think it goes very far but uh, it's pretty steep let's give it a try it starts uh, with a washout almost right away no, not a washout just a flat spot wow, it's the first time I've seen the ridge line kind of struggle like this a bit for traction but once I put my foot into it away she went Looks like we got ourselves a fun little spot here. hill I've done and all you at home be like ah that's nothing and maybe it's not but the ridge line's killing it into the next gully we go here this could be the steepest one yet coming out the other side straight up I have no idea what degree slope this is all I know is I would not have been doing this without my lift kit you think even that Back end still gonna drag a little. You hear that? Torque vectoring all wheel drive, baby. May not be a real 4x4, but it's getting the job done. And this is where the trail ends for us. That's uh that is not a drainage ditch, that's an actual creek bed. No thank you. So this is the trail we came up. It was pretty darn sweet. I think it was really very appropriate for the ridge line lifted. We did scrape the exhaust pipes a couple of times, but I don't care. I'll just buy new ones again if I wreck these ones. All right, so Kurt's thinking the, uh, the old Cherokee might just make it through that ditch. We're about to find out. It's pretty steep, but this is a short little vehicle and uh, it's stock height, pretty much stock tires, but yeah, it's got, it's got good clearance. Great approach, and great approach and departure angle, so he's heading on down in there right now. Sam, can you get ahead? Running boards are awfully close. Okay. Front bumper's good. You're just up on that little log, but that's fine. I think the, the issue would be the back end, not the front end. Think your your bumper is an inch away from touching. 
There you go, yep. Hold on, your exhaust is in the dirt. You're pretty much committed at this point. Nice. Tailpipes are expendable. Very nice. You gonna try then uh, second gear? Yeah. Be a little less touchy. Stay a little bit more to passenger. Sam, guide him how far you can go to passenger over here because then you can swing left and that'll minimize any contact on the bumper. From here, that looks really steep. Cola, come on. Cola, come on, get out of the way. All right, we're heading back down this janky trail. Man, just even when you've done it before, it just looks so steep. It was crazy that Kurt did that last section. Gotta respect the, the classic Jeep Cherokee. So we're gonna take this one slow. Swing it a little wide. Well, we were just up there going chasing a waterfall here I had to kind of break through the bush so let's, uh, let's have ourselves a little look see here you can see the waterfall in the middle of the screen under that log we're going to try and get up there and get a little better view not a bad little spot Well, here we have it. School Apple campsite. Maintained by the BC Four Wheel Drive Club. Beautiful Chehalis Lake. A little bit breezy, as you can tell by the uh, current on the lake. It's looking more like a river. Nice place. Need to catch up on some recording here. We are uh, on a secondary FSR. We tried to go all the way up Chehalis to the north end of the lake, but we could not. The road is intentionally washed out badly, and I didn't think to take any pictures or video. Silly me. Look at this beautiful piece of river. This might be the Chehalis River. So this is supposedly the trail that goes to the wreck site at the south end of the lake. It's a little narrower, a little steeper. By no means something to give the mighty Honda some problems. It just doesn't look like the road more traveled. They are nice, but uh, definitely took a few new pinstripes on the way down. The Cherokee, much narrower, less stripage. But here we are, this is the bottom end of Shehalis Lake. Pretty nice down here. Cool, is loving it out here. Living her best life. How is it, Oakley? How's your boy?
Yeah, you got it. Nice. Uh, we're working our way back out of uh, of the Chehalis Lake Rec site, and oh man, that was all kinds of crazy. I think Sam got us some pretty cool footage down there. Um, I got all kinds of stuck. I, we didn't really get a lot of that because Sam had to manage the dogs, who kept wanting to explore underneath the front tires. And then Kurt was well trying to help me get unstuck. I couldn't even get out my driver's door. We uh, pinned up on a log. He cleared it with his Cherokee by basically just sending it. I watched him and he just was bouncing and janking and I'm like, that is crazy. So I try to take a little more nuanced approach. And well, that didn't really work. Uh, this is why you get into that stuff with friends so they can turn around and come pull your ass out. Folks, it is a great idea to have recovery boards. I've got two, four would have been better. With four, I might've gotten out of that spot without a tug. And it's definitely important to have straps, a kinetic strap and a rigid toe strap and axle straps. And shackles all the recovery gear have it and hope you never need it well that about does it for the latest adventure with ridgeline overlanding hope you enjoyed our little trip up to shehanless lake i know we sure did happy to report that uh, the damages to our vehicles was very minimal so yeah if you liked it be sure to like and subscribe interact in the comments i'm always happy to answer any questions you've got and hey if it's really great tell your friends because you know what? We're not exactly getting rich off of this thing, but I just enjoy making the videos and showing people what's possible with um, humble Honda Ridgeline and a few basic recovery tools. So until next time, and there will be a next time, go play outside.